It's Madden NFL 22, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Eagles and the Browns, and it's coming up next. It's been a wet and dreary day by the shores of Lake Erie, but we have football at First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. This was the scene a few minutes ago. The dog pound in full roar as their Browns emerge from their tunnel. And they're ready to go as they get set to match up with the Philadelphia Eagles. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this game. So how do you think that will impact this contest? Well, first and foremost, both quarterbacks are going to make sure the officials have those dry footballs coming in each and every play and standing over them sometimes with a towel before the center gets up there to snap it. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight to make sure they have good ball security? That's paramount in a game like this. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from Cleveland. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. And for the first time, here comes the Cleveland Browns offense. Quarterbacked by Baker Mayfield, fourth-year man from Oklahoma. And while we can quibble a little bit about statistics, to me, Baker Mayfield's coming off his best season yet. 26 touchdown passes, cut way down on his turnovers, and led the Browns to a playoff victory for the first time since 1994. This young man continues to mature as both a passer and a leader. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And he powers his way up past the 30. Five yards on the game's first play, second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second down, here's Chubb again. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And he is going to have the Browns first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Mayfield. And he's got the hook up to Landry. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Jarvis Landry now in his fourth year with Cleveland, a five-time bowl bowler. No one plays harder in the league, and he's only missed one game in seven years. He does what he always does, makes a nice catch there. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. Now Mayfield. And yeah, that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. He was looking to get it to Jarvis Landry that time. And it's third down. He's going to look for Beckham in the end zone. And unable to connect. Incomplete. 
I give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Absolutely no disguise on that one. They just went for it. Put him out there and said, go deep. Let's try and hit him. Unfortunately, to no avail. They don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. From the gun, Mayfield. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. Well, for the first time, we get our look here at the Eagles offense and Jalen Hurts, the second-year quarterback out of Oklahoma. A lot of expectations for Jalen Hurts this year, but he has the support of the franchise, including the man who owns the franchise. Had a four-game audition at the tail end of last year and did enough that the Eagles sent Carson Wentz to Indianapolis. They're expecting Jalen Hurts to be their quarterback of the present and the future. But first down, Hurts. He finds his tight end, Goddard. That's complete. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. A gain of six there on first. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. That good for 19 and a first down. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. Touchdown! Dallas Goddard, 30 yards, and the Eagles have taken the early lead. And boy, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. And that, in a nutshell, shows you what this guy's made of. I mean, most guys in the NFL just can't do that. He absorbed the contact, refocused himself, and made a break for the end zone. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is JoJo Natson. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. They'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. First catch there for OBJ, and that good for a first down. And unfortunately, in 2020, Odell Beckham tore his ACL in week seven. The Browns still made the playoffs, but boy, if they had him around, they're thinking about a much deeper run. A good grab there. On first and 10, Mayfield. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The Pro Bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down.
Mayfield to throw it. And this one's incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. That took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. Pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield. Javon Hargrave, the D tackle, getting the sack. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Come on, baby, let's go. Get After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession as they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got them the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. The number one pick, Miles Garrett, coming in to drop him. What a banner year in 2020 for Miles Garrett. Gets his Cleveland Browns to the playoffs for the first time in a long time and had 12 sacks to lead his team. He's averaged more than 10 sacks a year in his four-year career and was named All-Pro for the first time after the 2020 campaign. He's able to get four back on the run, but now they'll have to find something here on third and about 14. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. And he will slide down with a good game. A solid run of 11 there as he tucked it and ran, but he's still short of the marker at its fourth. Here's Aaron Sipos now. JoJo Natson back deep. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And they won't get a chance to bring this one back. It goes out of bounds back near their own 20. And the Browns getting set to go. It hasn't gone particularly well for them. That's obvious. In these conditions, no points so far. They've got to get that offense on track. The question, how do they do it? It is the age-old question, isn't it? And to me, finding a way to make sure your playmakers touch the ball without it being too exotic, meaning you don't have to go deep down the field. Maybe you hit them on those short passes on the perimeter. Make sure you just turn around and hand it to your best runner and get out of the way. Don't cause any extra stress on your offense. Give the tackle that time to Rodney McLeod. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a 40-yard run on first down. A game there of 21 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. And he'll get three up to midfield. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. Second down, here's Chubb again. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Mayfield now from the 50. And he can't escape, and down he goes. That's Derek Barnett coming in and making the play. Here's Jamie Gillen now. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Thirty-nine yards on the punt, just two on the return, and the Eagles will have it taking over first and ten. 
Philadelphia getting set to take the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Second and six. No, scratch that. Second and seven. Here's Hurts to throw. Looking here for Smith downfield. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that. Well, that would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. Throwing his Hurts. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Eagles send out their punter now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And a fair catch called for and taken right on the midfield stripe. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And this offense takes over in great shape right at the 50, first and 10. Odell Beckham now marching back onto the field. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking what the defense is giving us, but sometimes that's just not good enough. Sometimes you have to take what you want, and that means getting him the football. Yeah, so far just a single catch in this game. Give him nine there on the first down completion. They'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. A give. This is Chubb. And now off to the races. Down the right side. Uh -huh. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. 40 yards for Nick Chubb. And the Browns are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am, go ahead and tap it out the first half. Wow, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, whether they want to let their return guy touch it. Cody Parkey is on now for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. It only took him two plays there to find the end zone. The last one, the long run, getting him in for six points. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half as they will take over here with a little more than 30 seconds remaining. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. He's going to drop this down to Sanders. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Hurts. Open man is Goddard to tight end. And he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down. Hurts. Flush to his right. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as 
as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. That swung out wide to Sanders. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? The long-distance shot before break comes up empty, but now Charles flipped the script. Time for likely one more play as field position becomes an issue. Yeah, when you talk about field position, remember, if this kick is missed, the ball comes back to where? The spot that they snapped it from, so field position becomes a factor. I think at this spot, you might also want to think about throwing the Hail Mary. You know, put the ball up in the air, maybe. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. things right at the end and grabbing a little bit of control. What a great way to go into the locker room. It's similar to a boxer flurrying in the last 30 seconds of a round and stealing the round. Great job. Now parking for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So we have reached halftime here in Cleveland with the Browns on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We saw a strong first half out of the former Heisman Trophy winner, Baker Mayfield. First things first, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for Philadelphia. And they did not do much at all in terms of throwing the football in those first two quarters. That's going to need to improve if they want to erase this deficit. Meanwhile, for the Browns, they had a little more success than their counterparts did in the passing game, as evidenced by the numbers there. Final adjustments being made in the locker room. We're just about set for the second half from Cleveland, and to bring it your way, we go back up to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. Fielded right around the eight. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. Now a hit and a loose football. And this is picked up by the Browns. And they have possession and they have it at the 38-yard line. And that has to be so frustrating because you know that they had something set up there for this first drive of the second half. It wasn't the fumble. Sometimes, no matter what you go over at halftime, no matter what you say, errors will result, and that's exactly what happened here. They were trying to change things from what happened in the first half. Instead, <laughs> they continue to make mistakes. So the missed field goal, and now they're in great shape. They'll start at the 38. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. To throw again on second down. Mayfield. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Wilson. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. From the gun, it's Hurts. That's complete to Ward. First target, first catch, and a first down. Well, it certainly feels like we can't mention Greg Ward without using the phrase converted quarterback, but he's turned into an excellent, dependable receiver. 
Wilder Hurts fumbles it. And I think the Browns got it. They do. And now timeout is whistled as it appears there's a Brown shaken up on the play. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. down they'll run with Chubb and the result here a pickup of eight leaves him with two to go on second down first play of the drive let's give credit all around excellent blocking but a guy carrying the ball he was the finisher a really nice run eight yards the gain on that last run here's second and a couple they run it again with Chubb and here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36 well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Odell Beckham that time. And now it's second down. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 26. 72 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? And again, it's Chubb. And Chubb fighting, but nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped short of that first down marker. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead him to fourth down. But Kevin Stefanski going to take a chance going for it on fourth. Mayfield going to take it on the sneak. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. A first down throw for Mayfield. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. Second straight drive now here, Charles, and have ended with an interception. And I just wonder, because I don't think it's going to rattle him necessarily, but I also wonder if it's going to unnerve him a little bit. Does it lead to another one? Or does he find a way to pull it together and become sharp again? They'll contain him to just four, second down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll set up to throw. Dancing to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. Now we'll get a stoppage here as it appears we've got an eagle slow to get up. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. Sione Taki Taki leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. 
The Eagles on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and 11. They'll look to throw here. And that is incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence. And none better than the one right there. Forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And that negates a pretty decent punt return. And the goal is to get a first down on a punt return, which is 10 yards. This was much more than that but it is going to come back due to the illegal block in the back. A give running right is Chubb. Oh, Chubb fumbled it. It is picked up by the Eagles. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Well, that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we can make a play, we give our team, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. The Eagles just about set to go to work on offense. The interception sets them up with an opportunity to erase this fourth quarter deficit. Now, this series could very well determine our outcome. On first and ten, it's Hurts. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Second and ten. Looking to throw. It's caught by Sanders. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? They looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you should have a few men in the box there. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. They'll run with Sanders. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Once again with Sanders. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going to play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is the time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. I don't care what the analytics say. Look at where they are on the field. To me, that just screams go for it here. I, I don't even think about putting a kicker out there. What say you? I support whatever they do. Let's find out. Look at you, man of the people. Going for it with Sanders. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Miles Sanders taking it in from a yard out. And the Eagles are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. But we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. JoJo Nansen now on the return. Oh, a good return up past the 30. 
And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Now Nick Chubb of the Browns get set for their next possession. And we have seen a decline in the numbers. Where does the fault lie? Just him, maybe the guys up front combination? Well, as you and I both know, it's almost always a collective deal. But in this case, I think maybe the offensive line got a little overconfident. They had blocked so well in the first half, picked up on what the defense was doing. I think we've seen an adjustment now that they have not picked up on, and now they've been a little bit overwhelmed. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they search for a score to break this time. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Mayfield. And finding the tight end, Hooper. Seven yards, the pick up there. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Three yards remain for second down. Mayfield to throw. Swings this out for Hunt. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. Mayfield gives this one to Hunt. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Here's Baker. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Austin Hooper, the tight end, was the intended target. But now it'll be third down. Now Mayfield. Oh, he's going to go for it all. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown. And they've broken our tie here in the final minute. Might be seeing that one on the highlight shows tonight. The home run ball here in the fourth quarter to take the lead. There's nothing like being aggressive, preaching that to your team, and then following through. All the way through. Go ahead and throw one more up there. Why not? Been a great game, and we are not done yet. Now parking for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's capped off by the late touchdown. It's a seven-point lead here in the final minute of the game. the score it's Parkey on to kick it away and with time of factor here late he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25 Hurts and the Eagles now down 21 14 a little over 30 seconds remaining and they've got to travel the full 75 yards and time is obviously a huge factor here first and 10 Back to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield, but it'll be second down. He'll look to throw. Pass complete, Goddard, and he'll manage to get out of bounds. It's a first down, and the clock stops with just over 20 seconds to play. Seven catches for him now in this last one, a first down. He's back to throw. Into the hands of Sanders, and he will get out of bounds. That stops the clock, but two-yard gains, definitely not what you're looking for at this juncture. That catch good for only a couple. They'll look to throw. And that'll be off 
the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now a timeout called for by the defense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. It got his man complete. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Looking for the end zone. And this is incomplete. So no miracles here on the final play. And this ball game is over. But Charles, a one-score game. Down to the end we went. They had one final play in that one-score game. We all knew what was coming to Hail Mary. They just couldn't get it done. Wasn't exactly complicated, was it? We all knew, as you said, and go long and see if we can find someone open. They didn't get it done. Someone's happy. Someone is not.